When I was a girl, I had a favorite story of the meadowlark who lived where the rivers walked. Her voice could match the angels in its glory, but she was blood. The lark was blood. An old king came and took her to his palace, where the walls were burnished bronze and golden gray. And he fed her fruits and nuts from an ivory chalice, and he And plot the brocade and cruel, and I'll love you for life if you will sing for me. <laughs> and then one day the lark sang by the water. God of the sun heard her in his flight, and her singing moved him so he came and brought her the gift of sun. He gave her sight, and then she opened her eyes to the shimmer and the splendor of this beautiful young god so proud and strong. And he called to the lark in a voice both rough and tender, come along. Make a feast of the plums and peaches Just as far as your vision reaches Fly with me <clears throat> But the meadowlark said no Because the old king loved her so She couldn't bear to want his pride And when the sun god flew away The king came down that day he found his meadowlark had died. Every time I heard that part, I cried. And now I stand here starry-eyed and stormy. And just, just when I thought my heart was finally numb, a beautiful young man appears before me, saying, can I do if finally, for the first time, the one I'm burning for returns the glow? If love has come at last, it's picked the worst time. Still I know I've got to go this way.